Here's a quickie on checking your valve clearance. Uh, this is a 90s Nissan UD1800. And it's this is an FE6 diesel engine. It's a mechanically injected inline 6 diesel, naturally aspirated. Uh, I forget how many liters it is. Maybe a 6.2. But anyway... To take your valve cover off, if you have a truck like this or an engine like this, take your valve cover off. Very, very simple. One, two, three, four bolts. And these are 14 millimeter. Pretty much everything here is 14 millimeter that you're going to be dealing with. Uh, these are our lifters. And every single one of them, it, I don't bother finding top dead center of every piston or every cylinder firing order nothing like that you can tell by looking at these if they are in their most upright position their loosest position and when you wiggle them like i do on this truck you'll you'll have some play you'll be able to wiggle it back and forth and you can tell which ones are the highest so what i do is i just go through the book on this specific truck calls from 0.3 to 0.4 millimeters so you get your feeler gauges and you find 0.3 right here. That's the tightest it can be and 0.4 millimeters. That's the loosest it can be. So what I did was I, find, I found my uh, 0.35 right there. You can kind of see it. And I just make sure they're all adjusted to 0.35. Now on gasoline engines, Typically, your exhaust and your intake valves will be different. The clearance is on them. But on a diesel, they're not. I imagine because they don't run as hot. Furthermore, this is all cast iron, so it doesn't expand and contract like aluminum. You have this jam nut here. So when you find your loosest valves, like uh, I just labeled this one number 10. Number 10 is really loose here. It's at its highest position. I can kind of see that when I compare it to the others. So you loosen your jam nut here. I already did that. And then you adjust this screw here to tension it up and down. And I, I, I kind of tighten it so that this has some drag on it, but I can still move it. You don't want it insanely tight. See, I'll, I'll tighten this too tight. Now I can't get my feeler gauge out of there. So you want to just be able to pull your feeler gauge out and, you know, for it to have some resistance. See that? That's pretty tight. Um, and then you tighten that jam nut. Boom. Usually I'm holding the camera, but I'll hold the screwdriver in there and I'll tighten that jam nut with a wrench. This 14 millimeter wrench here. I hope that screw don't move because I'm holding you guys with my other hand right now. You don't have to crank it super, super hard. There's actually um, a torque, but I can't tell you what it is because I didn't look it up. But there's a specific torque that you torque those to, I imagine. So there we go. We got 0.35 and I go through with all my loosest ones and I tighten them or loosen them and make sure that they're in spec at their highest position. And then we just go over here and I've got all my ones, I just dropped my wrench, when I got all my ones that are loose, adjusted and retightened, I'm going to go around the truck and in my case I'm just bumping the starter. So my fuel's off. And I'm just bumping the starter. That's it. And then I look and I see if the one cylinders that weren't loose before are loose. Word to the wise also, this isn't the best way to do this. The best way to do this is to get a massive hex nut or uh, socket wrench and put it on your crank pulley down there with a big extension bar and slowly turn this over as you watch your valve body and you watch 
you know one cylinder get to its loosest position and you make sure that these lifters are at top dead center and they're on their loosest setting but i can't really do that one because i don't have a socket big enough for this and uh you know i can't really sit here and crank this engine over by hand so I'm just doing it this way. And when you, if you do it this way, make sure that you double, triple, quadruple check your cylinders in all the positions. As you keep bumping that starter, check it again and check them again and check them again. Because it might look like they're on their absolute loosest position, but it might have a touch more to go. So I just, you know, before I put this cover back on, I will check each set of these valves probably four or five times after bumping the starter multiple times. So keep that in mind. And I'll go back through at the very end once I think I've got them all, and I'll make sure to check them all with a 0.41 millimeter and make sure that that doesn't fit in there. And then I'll check them too, all the loose ones with a 0.29 millimeter, and I'll make sure that doesn't fit in there. So I know they're not too loose and they're not too tight. 0.35 is exactly where I want them. Now you can do them to their tightest setting. It's probably a better bet because they're, it seems like on these diesels they just loosen up. They don't really tighten up. But I could be wrong. And I'll just keep bumping my starter until I check them all. See, I'm checking them off up here. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm just writing it there. The ones I've got already. And I'll just double check everything. I'll clean all this out. Clean the gasket material. Make sure all that's in and then put the uh, valve cover back on. That's all there is to it. Super simple, easy to access, good thing to check. Um, yeah, hope this helps.